Getting more engagement on your social media content is great. Getting more customers is a lot better. Growing your team is a lot better. And so in this video, I share with you the exact scripts, what to say to people that comment on your stuff to convert them into customers and team members. There's different levels of who are you engaging with and connecting with, and it really comes down to how is your overall engagement working? So if you're generating interested leads, you probably are too busy with those leads to mention, to, to connect with people that look in your general direction, right? Um, but people that look at your stories and they don't react. I mean, to me, I would try to get a little bit more engaged person, but if that's the best you got, then I would just say, hey, thanks for checking out my story um, and just kind of throw the bait in the water just to see if they respond. I wouldn't try to pitch them. I wouldn't try to you know, hit them with a question. If they engaged with it, if they just dropped a love on it or a like or something, then you could say, uh, hey, thanks for you know liking my story. Uh, what are you up to today or something like that? And so that's like the one of the more mild <laughs> types of engagement. So you can't go too hard there. Wow. Sending out the, we don't know each other script. Then when they say, yes, they're open, I send them the presentation and wait for them to give me a yes or no. If I don't hear back from them. I send them a message the next day asking if they had a chance to look at the presentation. If not interested, I thank them, move on. If interested, I get them on a three-way call. I'm averaging one rep per 100 represent presentations. Am I missing a step? Yes. Um, couple tweaks here. So number one, you need before so when you ask someone hey are you open to take a look at what i'm doing they are not agreeing to looking at a video so if if they agree to you know to look at what you're doing or hear more about what you're doing that's them saying please send me a video so you need to get permission first and so the way that you do that is you say um, hey, I got a video that does a better job than I could do of explaining it. It'll inform you and, and give you just enough details to see if this thing's a fit for you or not. You okay if I send that video over? So you need a second, you need to, you find openness and then permission to send them a video that will absolutely increase your percentages for sure. And then the other thing is um, I I just don't like the, Every, every human I ever talk to requires a three-way call way of being. Um, I, would only I would only do you know, a three-way call if, if absolutely needed, because I think you're going you're gonna to lose some people in that process too. And so you know, if, <clears throat> if someone is super successful and you haven't been, then that's probably a great opportunity for a three-way call. Um, but you want to learn you know, posture and position so that you can close some of these people yourself. You shouldn't have to require a three-way call on every, you know, on every person. What are top three to five DMOs that is a must to grow to six to seven figures? So uh, <clears throat> one pretty obvious prospecting, right? How many people are you asking every single day if they're open to your product, service, or opportunity? That's a pretty obvious one. Um, number two, and number two, follow up, right? Follow up makes a whole lot of sense. Most people, you're not going to close on your very first interaction with them. You're going to have to follow up with them, regardless of how good you are at sales. Uh, number three, self-development. Number four, which is optional, but highly recommended, and that is do short videos, do Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, TikToks, YouTube Shorts, etc. cetera. Uh, that is the top of the marketing food chain. That is the number one e easiest and most cost-effective way for you to get in front of people that don't know you already. And last but definitely not least is mental rehearsal. You mentally rehearsing yourself at six or seven figures. How would it feel? How would you know it's true? Who would you tell? What would be the evidence? I realize... Now that I've been telling y'all to do imagination and mental rehearsal for a long time, but you haven't been doing it because as the, as soon as I, you know, at our event last weekend, 
and y'all were sitting down and I made you do it, all of a sudden, some of you had big breakthroughs. And I'm like, wait a minute. They had big breakthroughs, I guess, because I made them do it. And that means you haven't been doing it. And so you think imagination is your thoughts. You think that, you know, I'm, I'm just going to think about what would my dad say if I told him I was a millionaire? Eh, I think he'd be all right with it. That's not imagination. Imagination is you're closing your eyes. You're seeing it happen. You're seeing and feeling it happen. You're literally feeling their hand on your shoulder. And since I've been teaching that method, you guys have been having some serious breakthroughs. So one of the examples, um, I think his name was uh, Caesar. He imagined telling a pastor friend of his from two years that he hasn't seen in two years. So at my event last weekend, he imagined telling his pastor that he hasn't seen in two years, doesn't live in the same area about his success. Okay. And so he said, it was so real. You know, I felt it. I felt he hugged me and I just felt it and really cool. And so a couple days later, he's like at a Panera bread and he looks up and the pastor is there and he hasn't seen him in two years. And he's like, Ugh. and he was so in his head, he had other things going on that he didn't do what he saw in his imagination. He didn't go and tell him what he's been up to, yada, yada, yada. And then like, I think it was like the next day he saw him again. And so he completed the exercise in reality. So you think that your thoughts are imagination. Your thoughts are not imagination. That's you closing your eyes and stepping into a different world, stepping into a future version of yourself. And so um, that's mental rehearsal. That's imagination. You need to be doing more of that. How do you get people to join your organization when they are having a rough time? For most people, you shouldn't be trying to get people to join your organization that are having a rough time because they're probably too much in the chemicals of stress for them to focus on building and creating. And so there are definitely people that go from victim to survivor, uh, but there's not as many people that go from survivor to creator. And so I would, instead of looking for who really needs what I have, I would try to find people that are already in a good mood, whether they have a rough time or not. And so, you know, if you just like a challenge, like you're kind of, uh, you know, like, hey, give me the hard road, like, you know, you can with a lawnmower, but you prefer scissors, then just focus on people that are having a really rough time if you just like it tougher, right? I like my road tough, right? <laughs> but, you know, Typically, you know, like if I if I met if I met a waiter or waitress when I was building my network marketing business and scenario one is they're miserable here. Here's your chicken cutlet and threw the plate at me and, uh, you know, complained, saw the tip. Oh, right. I'm not going to prospect them. Could they use what I have? Yeah. But <clears throat> for me to over help them overcome that attitude when they probably are addicted to it and don't want to. Too much work. But if someone <clears throat> was a waiter or waitress and they came up, said, oh, good morning. Oh, my God. I love that shirt. That's such a good color on you. And they're super kind and nice. <clears throat> I'm going to prospect that person because they have an infinite more likely chance of creating something worthwhile and good in their lives. They have an infinite better chance of being a, a, a creator of something good. Uh, can I go over how I recruited Cedric Harris? So, I mean, technically, he really recruited himself. I was doing a video a day every single day, about 120 videos in. He saw one of them on YouTube, reached out to me. We connected. He liked it. He joined. That's really what happened. And so I didn't prospect him. I didn't reach out to him. I didn't know who he was. You know, I just didn't, you know. I don't follow the MLM success stories necessarily, unless I've had, you know, first, <clears throat> you know, first person encounter with them. Um, so I didn't know who he was. Uh, he saw a video of mine on YouTube, liked it, reached out to me. We talked, he joined. So I don't know that that's that magical. Uh, which is better, sending a friend request or start with direct message? Um, you're probably new to my training and I suggest a direct message because I think a friend request 
if your plan is just to prospect them is a little disingenuous, I'd rather be straightforward. I'd rather, um, you know, wait. And so the answer, the response to this is always, well, then they may not see my message. And that is true. They may not. Uh, you can increase the chances with two exercises. Uh, one, comment on something on their profile and say, hey, I sent you a message. And two, if they do stories, comment on one of their stories and they're almost guaranteed to see it. Did I give out samples? I was never, I was never in a company that had samples. So it's not, I, I don't, that I can remember. So I didn't, but it doesn't mean I wouldn't. But if you are going to give out samples, you need to operate as if that's like advertising. So a lot of people, they try their hand at advertising and they don't have the right mindset around it. So they drop a hundred bucks, they roll the dice and just see what happens. And you need to be a tracker. You need to pay very close attention to your numbers if you're going to give out samples or if you're going to spend money on advertising. So the point of advertising is to create the ability to spend more. So if I spend, you know, when we start an ad, we may start with, you know, 500 bucks just to see how is this going to do? And if it makes nothing, then it sucks. We'll stop it. If it makes 400 bucks, we'll tweak it. See, can we get it to be profitable? If it makes a thousand bucks, then we'll, then we'll drop, we'll take it from 500 bucks to 5,000 bucks. And let's see, let's see if it, it continues to make a profit. Um, with samples, you need to track. Okay. I spent, you know, whatever, two bucks on this sample. I gave out 10 of those. That's 20 bucks. I got one sale in that's 32 bucks. So forever 20 bucks, I'm currently making 32 bucks. No brainer. Let's keep doing that. Okay. Question is, what about asking when will they be able to watch the video? So I have found that that's one of those places that is very up to the person. Some people, for some reason, I think it's if you lack posture, that's a harder question for you to ask. And so I would test that out. If you're getting stuck there, then then don't do it. Um, I preferred to do it, but I was also very postured and most people are not very postured. And so that's that's one of those things that I've seen people do well with it. I've seen people do well without it. When people say show up as the person you want to be, all I can imagine is money. Have the look, hair, nails, clothes, spend without money scarcity. Is that likely what's meant? So to me, it's more of a it's it's more thinking of feeling. It's change your state of being and your state of being is how you think and how you feel. And so how would the and it may be easier for you to think, how does the person without money think and feel? Okay. And then just do the opposite. So how does the, the person without money think? They think, I can't afford that. They think making money's hard. They think, uh, must be nice for that person to succeed. They think, um, you know, they compare negatively constantly. How do they feel? They feel scarcity. They feel less. They feel less than. They feel jealous, right? And so it's more, you know, it's it's not. It's more of thinking and feeling, right? I mean, I've I've met people worth hundreds of millions of dollars that don't have a watch, don't have fancy shoes, you know, look like a farmer, and you would never guess, right? So it's more of thinking and feeling. How are you, how are you thinking? And it's, so you need to get better at, and your thinking almost always precedes the feeling. And so if you start intercepting your, uh, you know, money scarcity thoughts, then you can, you have a shot at changing your money scarcity feelings. And so it's more about thinking and feeling as someone wealthy than looking down on your wrist and there needs to be a watch there or you feel broke. And so how are you thinking and feeling is, is really what it's meant, what's meant there. What do you suggest when your upline wants to become active for the month? However, you haven't built a pipeline for customers. I'm not sure. I, I guess you're saying they want to work with you for the month. And, and I would say earn it. Right? If they're saying that they're active for the month and get to work, don't overthink it. So build the pipeline right now.
and <clears throat> you know they're you know just you know be honest with them say hey you know what i haven't been doing the work but you know what you inspired me i'm going to start the work right now so all right let me hang up here and let me i'm going to go prospect 25 people today and i'm going to do the same thing tomorrow and so just don't overthink it beat yourself up which is you know such an addiction you know for most people and just go move forward make it happen you did it Woo! you made it to the end of the video way to go drop a comment real quick and say finisher you made it happen so awesome so congrats on making it to the end of the video i hope you got massive value from this feel free to subscribe and i would highly suggest that you click that little bell bing so that you're notified as we upload new and free content feel free to share this with someone that you think could benefit from it and just know that we really really appreciate you feel free to check out the description for any kind of links or additional notes and i hope to see you in the next video